Hey everybody, Bill and Deb. Hi there. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, the wind is blowing and blowing hard. I think it's uh, 31. Uh, 30, gusts. 31 to 35 mile an hour gusts. And it's been doing it for, this is the second day. Yeah. We're going on day two. Getting a little old. Yeah. <laughs> now two days ago, two days ago, uh, before all the wind started, uh, it was fairly warm here. Yep. And the bugs were thick as could all get out. They were driving us crazy. Yes, so we went ahead and set up the gazebo. And, you know, everything was fine. We was able to get away from the bugs and everything. Yeah. But then, uh, that, that night, wind started picking up. We had a little bit of a thunderstorm. And then yesterday, the wind just kept building and building and building uh, until it got to where we had gusts of over 35 miles an hour, you know, approaching 38 or so. And yeah. And it did that way up into the night and it finally settled down for uh, maybe for three or four hours and then when the sun started coming up it started building again. And it's hitting broadside yeah. side to yes. the trailer. Right. So what we wanted to show you right quick is how well the gazelle gazebo <laughs> performs in a situation like this. We have been sitting in here uh, semi-relaxing <laughs> and we do have a little bit of issues, you know, with the panels keeping them stuck because yeah. of the Velcro coming loose. It doesn't want to stay Because stuck. the wind keeps wanting to pop it loose. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how we set this up, you know, uh, when the, especially when the wind started blowing like it is. Of course, what we always do first, now I'm going to point this out when we get over here where the sun's better. There we go, without a shadow. But on all the corners, On all the corners, you have these little tabs that stick out right there. And so what we always do first when we set up the gazebo, we always go around all the corners and we stake all the corners down first. Then we come back and we, although uh, some ties do come with the, uh, with the gazebo, we prefer these. We got these at Home Depot and they're a cam lock type affair and we've had these for several years and they've been working really really good for us but then we go around and then we stake everything down and then we can draw it tight all the way around and that's the way we did it now when the wind though started picking up yesterday uh, I went ahead and added an extra stake on on two hubs so that we would have a little bit more holding power so you can see how we did that there with you know uh, Two, two of the cables, of course, are attached to the hub, and then uh, and then we got the two stakes here. We did it there, and we did it here, right here. And uh, the only real issue we're having, because of the way the wind is blowing, is trying to uh, you know kick that out. But uh, now it blew like this all night. Uh, well, not all night, but most of the night. And then, of course, it picked right up again today and took off again. So this is what we've been dealing with. But we just wanted to show you how we did this. Okay. Now, huh? Tempted to just take that one off. <laughs> yeah, we might even go ahead and just take that panel off. But uh, anyway, we wanted to show you how well the, the gazelle is holding up like this. So why don't, why don't we just go ahead and step inside? That sounds like a plan And there me. is a marked difference. <laughs> <laughs> when you go inside. <laughs> yeah. That wind is a little brisk today as well. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <sighs> Let me go ahead and zip this door down. All right. Now we may go ahead and just pop that panel I off. I think it I will. I best. don't want it to ruin it. Right, we don't want to ruin it. So. We thought about uh, using Gorilla Tape on it, but I might not be able to get it loose. <laughs> yeah, then we, <laughs> then we wouldn't be able to get the Gorilla Tape off. But considering, you know, and, and of course we have no wind in here at all, even though even though uh, that panel is flopping like it is yeah, right it's there, not bad you know, here. the screen the screen is still a really, really, really tight, tight mesh screen. But... Uh, uh, and it'll still keep most of the wind uh, out of here. But in here, except for, you know, listening to all that, it's pretty comfortable in here. Well, I'm fixing to get rid of that. I'm fixing yeah. to fold that one up. Yeah, we'll probably go ahead and fold that one up. But anyway, we just thought we would sh uh, do a little <laughs> quick uh, video here, uh, take advantage of this uh, 
event. Event. Welcome to real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the gazelle's holding up real good, and uh, I got a little nervous a couple times last night. I was laying in bed, and I can hear that I could hear the panels flopping around. So I got up with a light, you know, and stuck my head out the door so just I, to I take a peek. I didn't know if it was this or the the right. bicycle cover. Right. But then the bicycle cover staying on good too. We cover our jack, and Bill went ahead and put a bungee cord around it yesterday. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, we're supposed to have one more day of this, yes. believe it or not. And then things start straightening out until the rain starts coming. Yeah. So, but I think tomorrow the wind isn't supposed to be quite as bad as it is today. I don't think so. So, anyway, <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go ahead and pop that one yeah, off. Yeah, it's just going to ruin it. <laughs> the wind really is more out of that direction right there. And what's happening is it's glancing off of that at an yeah. angle and hitting that and yeah. popping that loose over there. So we'll take that off and this panel will still block the majority of the wind. But like I say, that mesh screen is really tight anyway. So there's not, uh, you know, we might get a little bit of air coming through, but we're not we'll gonna have any wind We'll put our backs to that one through. and then it won't be too bad. Yeah, we can do that too. So there's, we have options. We have options. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, everybody. We just thought we would show you this. Uh, this is one of the things that we really like about the Gazelle Gazebo, and when it's set up properly, it will withstand, it'll be three days, and when it's finally over with, that this thing's going to be sitting out here. I don't know if I'm going to stay in three days of wind. <laughs> yeah. Good thing I'm going yeah. to town tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's a laundry grocery yeah, pickup day. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, and then we're looking forward to uh, next Monday. The yes, eclipse. The solar eclipse. We better yeah. have all of our cameras charged. And we're going to be in a good position right here and have all of our cameras charged. And we will, uh, you know, share that with you once we get everything all edited and ready to go. All right. For now, this is Bill and Dad with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And you know exactly <laughs> what we're going to say. <laughs> we're not camping. We are living. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get out there and enjoy some windy days. <laughs> Be a good day for sailboats. <laughs> yeah. Do some living, folks. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. That changed everything. <laughs> Much more pleasant in here. Now. Yeah. All right. <laughs>